this man. And maybe you didn't listen to what he said, but he told you about a man. And I hope you're here today. If you don't know that man, you will before you leave here. I mean, I don't know what people understand. It's what it's about. It ain't about who I am, who you are, what we can do, who gets to preach, who don't get to preach, who gets to do this, who gets to do that. It's all about Him. We need to put ourselves sometimes in the place. As He, as he taught me and you, and He left many things in the Scriptures, and not everything that He done was recorded. Oscar didn't cover everything that He done. Uh, but he left a lot of things there for me and you to understand. And I, I guess as I sat there, I thought about, well, what would I have done if I'd been one of the shepherds? I, uh, when the angel said, I, I go down there in Bethlehem, behold, and you today I, is born a Savior. I, uh, and they told him to be not afraid. You understand? I, we got so many people that's afraid of the anointing of God. They're scared to death to feel God. They don't want nothing to do with this man. I, but I want you to know you need to come see him today. Amen. You need to know who he is. You need to know what he's able to do. And he's able to do all that you ever asked him to do. I don't believe that. They say, well, we've run out of wine. You know what he said? He said, go get the water pots. I, you know what his mother said? He said, do as he said. I, you know what he done? He filled them up to the brim. I, and they drank the best wine they ever drank. I, I don't know about you, but I'm drinking from a fountain. I, woo! Woo! I've never drunk from a bar. And it's the best thing I've ever had. Woo! Do you have it this morning? Do you have it this morning? Or you like the lady that spent all she had doing everything she could, trying to heal yourself, trying to fix yourself, trying to live right, trying to do right. You can't do it. But oh, she heard about a man. She heard about a man. Ain't she glad you heard about a man? Ain't she glad you heard about a man? Glory, hallelujah. She said, if I could just go and touch Woo! Woo! The hem of his garments I'll be made whole. Woo, glory! We need to know who this man is. Amen. I have need to go through Samaria. He said much need. Come see a man.
me go down and you want to drag me down to the foot of Jesus, shame on you. When you see me go down, you know what you need to do? You need to get down on your knees right down there with me and say, Lord, help my brother. Yeah. You know what he told them? You without sin to cast the first stone. Right. You hear what I said? Yeah. He said, by the word of God, ye without sin, cast the first stone. Amen. Anybody without? Raise your hand. <laughs> well, I can't raise my hand, and I sure hope you didn't raise yours. Amen. But I want to tell you, man, of man, I don't care what sin it's been. I don't care what you've done. If you fell down on your knees and met this man called Jesus, he forgave you of that sin and everyone you've ever committed. I, I told him in that sin forgetful. I, I never be remembered against you again. Amen. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You ought to be glad you're saved. You ought to be glad that you know this man. You ought to be glad that you know him. They got done eating. They got done by washing feet. Oscar's done told you. They got out there and told him, well, he said, just go ahead and sleep on. Huh? We need to wake up. Huh? We need to wake up. Amen. You need to wake up. They got up. Yeah. He said, the hour's here. Yeah. And they're coming. Peter said, Lord, the soul, give me one. Yeah. Huh? As soon as they come, Peter, he told him, he said, Lord, I'll never leave you. I'll not deny you. Yeah. Lord, I'm going to stick with you. How many of us said that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, well, I know, Greg, I know. I've been pastor for 30 some years. I mean, they've been a million times. These things come away, and I want to just get up and run. Yeah. But, but I know the man. Amen. You women that are wives of a preacher and a pastor, you better stick with him. Amen. You better encourage him. You better help him. Amen. You church members, you better get behind him and you better back him. Amen. You deacons, you better lift him up and be there. Yeah. Well, I want you to know a lot of us just like Peter. When it gets tough and it gets hard, we all want to run and say, I never knew him. Oh, that's what Peter said. No, I'm not one of them. I ain't been with him. He's been with him every time. Ever since Greg, he taught him to cast his nets on the other side. Yeah. And he came forth and broke the net. And he said, come with me, yeah. and I'll make you a fisherman of men. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. A lot of them don't understand what Jesus has done. Yeah. He brought you back to God. Yeah. Yes, he He's brought you back to God. And if you know this man this morning, you ought to have a relationship yeah. with him, Amen. with the Father, and with the Holy Ghost. Amen. A lot of people, they say, well, you got to do this to get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I don't know what you got to do, but I'll tell you what I did. Yeah. I got down on the back pew of Gordon Star Free Will Baptist Church and said, Jesus, save me. That's all you have to all say. Jesus, save me. I don't want to go to hell. Save me. Guess what? I've met that man. I've been meeting him ever since. Whoa, glory. How about you? Thank you, Lord. Hey, all I want you to come, honey, and get a song. I'm going to make an altar call. But just before you do, I just want to tell you this one last thing. I know it's getting tired. You won't go eat. But I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> but he met the hour with them. Okay. Let me just let me back up just a little bit. I got the song, Kayla. You just might have to look for it. I'd like to try my best to 
explain to you what he looked like the day that he went to the cross for the game. Huh? You wouldn't have recognized him. Not at all would you have recognized him. But he done that for me. And he done that for you. If you're here today and you're lost, he done it for you. Say, preacher, I'm a bad person. And guess what? I was too. Say, well, you was a preacher's son. Well, I was one of the meanest in Jefferson. But God saved my soul and called me to preach. Bless my family. Give me good children. Give me good son-in-law. Give me good grandchildren. Glory, hallelujah. I ain't got nothing to do but bag on the man named Jesus. I ain't got nothing to do but say I love you, Jesus. But he beat him to a pub. His, his Edward was hanging out. They thrown him on the cross and nailed him to the tree. Throw it in the ground. He said, Father, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? God had to turn his back on his son because he couldn't watch him die. And he gave up the ghost and he said it's finished. Amen. Amen. Everybody's looking for a lot of things to still happen. I got news for you this morning. It's already happened. Amen. If you're looking for anything else to happen, I'm telling you, I'm afraid you ain't going to see but one thing. You hear me? You ready? Yeah, I tell so. They went to the tomb. <laughs> they went there early. Well, how are we going to get this stone out of the way? Well, you can say whatever you want to. But the Bible teaches me that the angels came and rode it away. There's a story you know, going on today that the soldiers went asleep and the disciples came and stowed him away. That's what's still being told today. But that's not truth. The devil's telling so many lies and got so many people convinced. Hey, I could come up here to the association and everything will be all right. I got news for you. You come, every one of them, not miss a one. It won't help you a lick right. if you don't know Jesus. Right. If you've never met this man, it won't help you a bit. I tell you what you need to do. You need to believe upon the name of Jesus. Cry out and tell him that you're a sinner. He'll save you. Get in the church. Get baptized. And stay in church. I'm tired of everybody out running around. Say I'm a child of God. And never go to the house of God. If you've been down to the tomb. You know he ain't tired. So why in the world. Don't you go and listen about it. And learn more about it. I don't care if you don't like it. It's the word of God. We just about. You want to know what helped you. Get down in the house of God. Be dedicated like this man was. Hey, look what the Lord's done. Oh, we get a little happy. Them old fellas, they got happy, Oscar. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't in the tomb, they got happy. Man, they burned up the room. He walked through the walls. Ain't fish with them, huh? Does the spirit do that? Huh? Uh huh? You know, no. But a glorified body does. Amen. Huh? The one that been in the presence of God that left the throne of glory left to come down here and die for me and you. That's the man I'm Amen. talking about. Amen. Amen. He got all happy. And then he left them. Been gone for some time. He'd been gone away, I don't know how many days. It'd been gone long enough that they went back to doing what they know what to do best. They said, we're going to go fishing. You know what they done? They went fishing. But guess who met them? Guess who met them? The man. Huh? Hey, caught anything? Nope, we told all night. Throw her on the other side. Come on. Told all night, told her on the other side. You ever hear what the Lord's ever told you what to do? Amen. You know what? You need to obey it. If you don't obey it, guess what? You'll get something full if you can't handle it. Huh? I've got it, Oscar. I don't know about you, but I don't know how to handle it sometimes. It gets on me so great, I can't handle it. But you need to learn to obey the Lord. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Then you'll be able to see something. Amen. You say you've seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. How do you think I'm saved? And in that, last instructions he gave them, go out and preach to the all the world. Huh? Baptize them in the name of what? 
Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And he said, I'll never leave you. Never forsake you. Go with you all the way. A lot of you believe just because you're a primitive Baptist, you're rock solid. Concrete. Huh? Now listen to what I'm saying. I said, primitive Baptist. A lot of us believe, and I love the primitive Baptist. Don't get me wrong. I know what primitive means. It means original. Huh? If you're original, you got Jesus and you know the man. But if you think you're here because of primitive Baptist, you're mistaken. You'll die and go to hell. Huh? The primitive Baptist, I know it really didn't save me. No, it didn't. But boy, I'm so glad I know where the gospel's being preached. And it's being preached by the men that God's called and qualified to preach the gospel. We need to preach the gospel. We need to know what the primitive Baptist is about. And it ain't about running around doing this and that. But it's about serving the Lord in spirit and in truth. Glory, hallelujah. Man, you can't serve Him without the Spirit. Huh? You cannot do this without the Spirit. I can't get up here Father Oscar Irvin without the Holy Spirit of God. Nobody else can. This is what he said. As he left. And he started to rise. Can you put yourself there? Huh? He started to rise. And I guarantee you, their hearts started being troubled. He started rising. But he said, This same Jesus. I'm talking about that man. Here he is. Behold the man. This same Jesus that you see going away will again come in like manner. How many of you believe that? How many believe that? That he's going to ride the clouds of glory one day. He's going to call us home. Woo! And then we'll be satisfied. I'm satisfied now on this earth. But wait till I get over there. Huh? When you're in the spirit on this earth, you ought to be satisfied. He's coming. And I'm glad I met the man. It's you. But we're going to sing this song. If you remember the day that you met the man, you just stayed. You say, preacher, I can't remember the day. Well, she sings a verse at the end of it. While I was praying, while I was singing. You can't remember to say, well, that's a bad thing. That's what a lot of people think. Let me tell you, it, I, I, I know it was on a Sunday night. <coughs> I know it was late. Church was over, just about over. I can't tell you the time, but I believe I can take you to the place. If that church burns down, I believe I can take you to the spot. The Lord save me. That's my testimony. But all you need to be able to do is say, the Lord Jesus Christ has saved me. Amen. Whatever the Lord else he gives you, that's just more power to shake at the fist at the devil. That's all it is. Because he'll tell you everything. He'll tell you everything. But I'm glad I'm saved. How about you? Amen. If you're in the presence and be able to hear my voice, yeah. you're outside the tent, wherever <coughs> you're at, and you feel the anointing in the holy drawing power of God. Yeah. Don't turn it away. Amen. Come to Jesus. Amen. As she sings. May God bless you. Glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody.
you, baby. I love you. I love you. I told you I'd make it. I know it. If I die on good, my Eddie. way, right. I'll never see another one. That's great. That's great, baby.
Lord save me. Praise Praise Lord. Lord. Lord.
So come what may, I will be done. I love you, Jesus. God's only son. Lord, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I hope.